This is a video um, about the poison ivy after 12 hours. Um, with the apple cider vinegar, you can see here that the sores are still there, but um, there's no liquid or anything on there, and they begin to heal really quickly uh, because of being able to get the oxygen and stuff. Um, so this actually is quite a bit better than using the baking soda because baking soda doesn't allow it to breathe. And so this has been a big, a big, big help. Um, also, we have also this part here. Um, this was actually quite bad too, but with the apple cider vinegar after 12 hours with the oxygen on it, you can see that it's already beginning to heal too. And there's a space place up there too. We also have um, the other hand here, um, and this is um, still not that good. But the stronger things were like tea tree oil and stuff like that and uh, the baking soda. They, cl they clog up the things where the, it can't heal, whereas using the uh, apple cider vinegar allows it to heal. And um, is, is also something you can actually just go ahead your own functions. I've also used lysope on this, of course, and so it's not something you have to worry about it spreading or anything like that, because the lysope solves that problem. Um, and also having you wash it off real heavily, um, that definitely has helped a lot. Um, so um, you just have to deal with the sores and wait till it heal, heals on its own. The apple cider vinegar seems like a pretty good way to do this. Um, anyway, that's all I have to say for right now. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.